Today's lesson is Lesson 1.3, Formal Procedures for Rounding. Our math message today is this. Ravi wants to know the total number of students that go to his school. The school website says about 860 students. The school newsletter says about 900 students. The principal then tells Ravi that the school has exactly 856 students. How did the website get 860 is your first question that you need to answer. And how did the newsletter get about 900? So you've got two questions there that you need to answer in your notes. So think about that question, reread it if you need to, and make sure to write down your response. Our vocabulary today has the following two words, rounding, which is a technique used to approximate known numbers. And then we have the word approximate, which means about or around a certain number. So those are the two words that we have for vocabulary. Make sure you get those written in your notes. And that brings us to our lesson today. Our lesson today will involve looking at three different methods to round numbers. The first method is using a number line. The second method we're going to call closer to. And the third method we're going to call digit to the right. And I am going to show you each of these methods and then you can decide which method do you think works best for you? So let's start with our number line method. I have the number 856 and I'm going to use a number line to try to help me figure out what 856 is closer to. So if I place 850 and 860 on the number line, we're looking at the closest 10. So when you think about the number 856, is it closer to 850 or is it closer to 860? Well, one thing that might help us with that question is to determine what goes in this middle spot right here. What is halfway between 850 and 860? Hopefully you figured out that 855 would be right in the middle there. So that means that our 856 would come after that on the number line, which in turn tells us that 856 is closest to 860 if we were rounding to the nearest 10. So that's the number line method. Next we're going to talk about the method called closer to. So if we have the number 3118 and I ask you to round to the nearest thousand. The first thing that we want to do is we want to underline that digit that is in the thousands place. And then we are going to replace all of the digits to the right of that number with zeros. So that gives us 3,000. Next, we're going to add one to that digit in the place that we are rounding to. And this would be our higher number. So we're going to add one to the three, which gives us four. And then we're going to, again, replace the rest of those digits with zeros. And now what we're going to do is we're going to ask ourselves, is the number I am rounding 
closer to the lower number or the higher number. So is that 3,118 closer to 3,000 or is it closer to 4,000? Hopefully you figured out that it is closer to 3,000. So if we were rounding to the nearest thousand, 3,118 would round to 3,000 using this method. Now our third method is the digit to the right. So if we have the number 6,595, and again, we're going to look at the thousands place. So I'm going to underline my digit 6, which happens to be in the thousands place. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to look at the digit to the right of the thousands place. If the digit is less than 5, we're going to round lower or down. If the digit is 5 or greater, we're going to round higher or up. So basically what I'm doing is I'm underlining the digit that I'm rounding to. That 6 is in the thousands place. I'm going to look at the digit to the right of that. It is a 5, so that means that I am going to round higher or round up. So instead of that being 6,595, we're going to round that to 7,000 because we're rounding up. This digit right here is a 5. Remember, if it's 5 or higher, we're going to round up. If it happened to be a 4, does anyone know what my number would have been? If that happened to be 6,495 and we're still rounding to the thousands place, I look at the digit to the right, it's a 4. So in this case, that would have rounded to 6,000, not 7,000 like we had in the first problem. So this is our digit to the right method. Now what we're going to do is we're going to practice using those methods that we just learned to do some of these problems here on the screen. So let's say that our first problem, let's say we're going to use the number line method. Again, let's do another practice problem for that. If we have 1,245, if I were going to use a number line for that particular method, and let's say I had you rounding to the nearest hundred in this instance. So let's say we're going to put um, 1,200 here. We'll put 1,300 here, 1,400 here, just to give you an idea. So I've got the number 1,245. So that number is going to fall somewhere between 1,200 and 1,300. What's going to be here in the middle? of those two numbers. Hopefully you figured out that would be 1,250. So once I figure that out, I realize that my 1,245 is going to be on this side of that 1,250. So if I were going to round to the nearest 100, in this instance, 1,200 would be my answer using the number line method. Let's take a look at the next one. We have 6,778. And let's say that I want you to round 
this number to the nearest thousand, and we're going to use the closer to method. So it's either going to be, remember we're going to leave the six a six, change everything else to a zero. So it's going to be 6,000, or if I add one to that six, I'm going to get a seven. So is my 6,778 closer to 6,000 or 7,000? In this instance, it is closer to 7,000. Okay, that's our closer to method. And then let's look at our next one. We have 12,467. And let's do the number to the right. So let's, again, let's do the thousands place. So I'm going to underline the two. And if I'm looking at the number to the right, that is a four. So when I go to write my number, my one is not going to change because we're not rounding that particular spot in our place value system. Okay, we're either going to leave that two a two, or we're going to change it to a three. So which one is it going to be? Anybody know? Well, my number to the right is a four, which happens to be less than five. So that tells me that I am going to round down or leave that alone. So we're going to round that to... 12,000. Okay, had that four been a five or a six or a seven or an eight or a nine, then that would have totally changed my number because then in that instance it would have been 13,000 instead of 12,000. Okay, our last number we've got 129,000. And I am personally a fan of the number to the right. So I'm going to use that method. But let's say that I want you to round to the nearest 10,000. So that would be the two. And if we're doing to the right, I'm going to be looking at that nine. And that is definitely higher than five. So that means my one will stay the same because I'm not rounding that place. My two, however, is going to change to a three. And everything else will change to a zero, which of course we already have three zeros at the end of that number, which we didn't have to change anything there. Okay, so that gives us 130,000 as our answer for that particular problem. So, all right, so on your own ticket to group today, Number one, you're going to round to the nearest 10,000. So your number is 134,679. Make sure you write the number down first and then give me your rounded answer next to it. Number two, round to the nearest thousand. Again, write the number down, 44,501, and then write your rounded answer next to that. And number three, round to the nearest 100,000, and your number is 167,200. So you've got three problems there. I should have three answers when you come to class. The other thing that you need to write down for me is your required question about this lesson. Do not forget that part. It has to be something that you do not know the answer to. To summarize what we've talked about today, we learned that we can use different methods to round numbers to make them easier to work with. And we also learned that those methods included using a number line, using what number is closer, and we looked at the digit to the right of what we were rounding. 
Thanks for watching.